Thanks for checking in to Weatherbug here on this Monday, last day of June 2014. And so we're taking a look at that southwestern heat building, a moderate risk of severe weather today, and then a flood threat along with some uh, interesting happenings in the Atlantic Basin when it comes to the tropics. We'll talk about that in a second. 96 though in Orlando, 90 in Little Rock yesterday, and then triple digit heat from Vegas down to Phoenix and El Paso, 99 in Albuquerque. And that's really where the heat is going to be situated here this uh, next few day time period and actually increasing. Over the next few days, San Francisco today, five degrees above average, St. Louis, seven degrees above average as we top out there at 95. This area, though, in the midsection of the nation under the gun for some uh, damaging wind, large hail and even some tornadoes, a moderate risk of severe weather. So watch what happens. We have a trough of low pressure moving in across the international border, but then this ridge, a very large ridge of warm air actually building and spreading into the plains. As we take you through the end of the week towards the 4th of July time frame, here's your severe threat today in red, a moderate risk of severe weather, but not just limited there. We're going to see that threat from the Panhandle of Texas all the way up into the Great Lakes region. But really your best tornado threat today is going to be from east of Kansas City out near Des Moines, Peoria, Madison, Wisconsin, just west of Chicago. And as I mentioned, hail and high winds also a primary threat. Uh, that front, though, sweeping eastward from the Great Lakes down into the middle Mississippi Valley on your Tuesday and then subsiding just a little bit here on our Wednesday. But notice this little area of low pressure just offshore. That's where we're going to have some heavy rainfall potential lifting north. Some of the models indicate that this could become our, uh, again, a, a pretty decent storm as we take you through midweek out near the mid-Atlantic region. So we'll keep an eye on that. But again, pretty interesting to see here. Uh, not, uh, uh, of course, uh, a big concern here in the East Pacific that we'll keep you up to date.